We are very excited about our next guest. It's actress Daisy Edgar Jones. She's best known for her role as Marianne in the wildly popular TV show Normal People. Did you see that? Now she's starring in the highly anticipated a highly anticipated new movie called Where the Craw Dads Sing. It is based on the best-selling novel of the same name. This book is huge. Daisy plays the main character, Kaya, who raised herself in the marshlands of North Carolina. Kaya is charged with murder after a man she had a romantic relationship is found dead. This is all in the trailer, so we're not giving anything away. In this clip, Kaya's lawyer tries to convince her to testify so the jury sees what a kind and good person she is. Here's a look. I know you have a world of reasons to hate these people. No, I never hated them. They hated me. I mean, they laughed at me. They left me. They harassed me. They attacked me. You want me to beg for my life? I don't have it in me. I won't. I will not offer myself up. They can make their decision. But they're not deciding anything about me. Whoa, Daisy Edgar joins, De Daisy Edgar Jones, let's try that again, Gail, joins us in the studio. Good morning to you, movie star, and I say that because last night was the movie premiere. It was your first. What was that like for you, Daisy? It was crazy. It was crazy. It was a year ago to the day kind of that we finished filming, so to actually be there finally all together as well, because most of the crew I only saw half their face because they were wearing masks, yeah. so it was really lovely just to be there, yeah. I, you know what I think is so interesting is that you have, you're British, so you had to learn a southern accent. How difficult was that for you? Did you have certain phrases that you, you work with a dialect coach? I didn't know you were British, really. Oh, really? No, yeah. I didn't. Yeah, I, didn't. I, I worked, because it would have been a bit strange if Kaya had a North London accent. <laughs> it yes, was really yes, important yes. to try and get that right. Were there so. certain phrases for you? Yeah, I loved um, Get Out of My Lagoon, You Low Down, Dirty Creep was one that I really, I really liked, because I had to scream that line. And, and How do you yeah. say it with your American accent? Gosh, um, it's been a while. Probably. It's been a while. Like, get out of my lagoon. I mean, yeah, I, there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it would go a bit Australian, but, um, but yeah, that one was helpful. And North Carolina, so. So, so Kaya, your character in the movie, based on the book, is a kind of genius naturalist in the marsh. Yeah. Uh, did you have to learn a lot about the marsh yourself in order to embody her? Yeah, I tried to, you know, in, in the book that it's based on, um, there's a lot of books that are referenced within that. So I tried to read all of the books that Kaya was reading. And, and actually just filming on location was incredible. You know, I'd never been in an environment like it. And for Kaya, she has such a love and respect of that environment. So to actually be able to be on location, not be, you know, on a soundstage having to imagine it all was so, so helpful. How quickly did you walk back to your trailer uh, after a scene? Because it's, it's swampy, right? It's very yeah. swampy. Scene, I was very wondering swampy. about the conditions too there. I mean, this is, Tony. This is yeah. accurate behind yeah. you. Yeah, it's funny because when you watch the film, it looks so beautiful, but you can't also feel the like intense humidity and mosquito bites that were also a part of yeah. the experience. So um, yeah, it was, it was wasn't always very comfortable, but it looked really good. <laughs> so one of the things that's really fascinating is Taylor Swift surprised yes. everyone when she wrote a song for the film, and we were playing it a little bit earlier. Uh, it's called Carolina, and she posted on Instagram as soon as she heard that you were starring in this film and that it was being produced by Reese Witherspoon. She knew that she had to write something. Uh, she wanted to be a part of it. Um, what was your reaction to that, that Taylor Swift is saying, yes. yeah, Daisy Edgar Jones, you're in this. I got to compose a song. Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's bonkers, really, is the only way I could <laughs> I could describe it. I, um, I, I didn't know Taylor had, had written a song for it. I knew somebody had, but they wouldn't tell me who. So I found out when the trailer uh, came out as well. So, so you found out when we found out? Yeah, I think uh, I saw it like... you found out when the trailer? <laughs> yeah. That's remarkable. I think I saw the trailer like the day before. So I, I like fell off my chair and was like, what? <laughs> but her song so is so beautiful. This is a movie yeah. where it's hard to overstate how big the book that it's based on really yeah. is. Yeah. Millions and millions and millions of copies. So for people who know the book, uh, and I don't know the book, I know the movie. What do you, how faithful is it? What do you say to readers who want to see the film? I mean, I think it's incredibly faithful to the book. You know, I, I think you're really left with the same feeling when the film ends that you're left with when you put the book down, you know? And I think, you know, it's quite, there's a large amount in this story to cover. You know, there's a murder mystery, there's a love story, there's a survival story, and I think- It's a love story to nature, too. It is a love letter yeah. to nature, and I think, um, I think the filmmakers have done just such an excellent job of capturing all of those elements and the heart of Kaya, so. Well, I got the book when it first came out because there was such buzz, and I thought, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna read it. Now I've seen the movie, now I definitely wanna read the book. <laughs> but this was, 
this is what Reese said about you. Daisy Edgar Jones is a once in a lifetime talent. She can morph herself into many different characters. What do you think when you see that, Daisy? Because most people knew you were British. They knew normal people. That was huge. And now you're going to a next level. What does it feel like for you at this time? You know, it's, it's so surreal. Like, um, you know, I, I used to take the tube all the time to my auditions and things like that. And now there's a poster in my local tube station and my friends keep sending it to me. And oh, with your face With on my it. face on it. Oh, cool. so it's, sort of, awesome. it's really special and I just feel very lucky. You know, I, I love acting and um, I, I, love, I love the people I get to work with and meet and I just feel very lucky to, to be doing it, really. That's beautiful. Well, I can't wait for people to see the movie. You are so good yes. in it, and you and nailed every every scene that you were in. And, and this is one where it's worth going to the theater. Yes, I big, agree. It's a big yes. immersive story. It's so it's true, because really I had to watch it on my iPad. It's not yeah. the same experience. And I cried at the end, I have to say. Were yeah. you crying at the end? Yes. I gave yes. it too much away. All right, all right. Okay. They were happy tears. Uh, no, they were happy tears, because I like it. Too much away? Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, I'm done. It's terrible ending. <laughs> Daisy Edgar Jones, thank you, thank you, thank you, and bravo cheering you on. You can see where the crawdads sing. What's a crawdad, guys? It's a little shrimp. Crayfish. A little yeah. crayfish. <laughs> where the crawdads sing. I thought it was a big bug. And theater starting on Friday.